Ever wish AI could connect to your tools like USB-C connects to everything? That's what MCP, the Model Context Protocol, does. It securely links language models to your files, APIs, and tools, giving them real context, not just chat. Tools like Claude and IDEs already use it. Here's how it works. Your LLM app, like Claude or an IDE, connects to multiple lightweight MCP servers, each linking to a data source like files, databases, or APIs. The MCP client talks to them all using one standard protocol, so adding new sources or switching LLMs is plug and play. Let's do something fun. We'll fetch live Pokemon data using MCP. Just make sure Node.js is installed. First things first, we need to set up the project using these commands. We're using UV here, but you can also use pip. Okay, we're in VS Code and our project structure looks like this. Now this Python file contains our MCP server logic. You can see that we imported the required modules and then created a server. We're fetching data from this API, and here we have a helper function that fetches the details of the Pokemon. Now, here, we registered a tool to fetch the info. They're basically functions through which LLMs can interact with external systems, perform computations, and take actions in the real world. We can optionally provide a name and description for a tool as well. Like this, we have a tool to generate a fighting squad and another one to list the Pokemon. And at the end, we're running the server, and we use the standard input-output transport to communicate between client and server. That's it. Our server is completed. Now, I am going to CD into the directory and activate the environment. Then I'm going to start the development server. And this is how the UI looks. Connect to the server, and we can see resources, prompts, and tools. In here, we can list our tools and test them by clicking on Tool and then clicking on the Run Tool button on the right side. Now, after terminating this operation, I'm repeating the same step, but this time I am installing the server into the client, which in this case is Claude for Desktop. This will change the Claude Desktop config file. But you can manually edit the config file too by following these steps. Now, we're in the Claude, and after reloading it, we can see three tools that we created, and if we look at our server, yeah, it's running. Now we can give prompt like this, and Claude will provide info based on the context we provided. Now let's give another prompt for creating a squad for a tournament, and again, it'll answer based on the context we provided. So that's how you can create an MCP server and numerous tools to get answers based on the context that you only provide, either by local files or from databases. And I linked the source code in the description, so access it and play around.